Alright guys, uh, what's up, this is Jason, once again, and now it's time to recap Sony's press conference from last night. Um, overall, it was a very, very good press conference on their part, revealed lots of games, did the whole indie thing once again, where it kind of stepped off was they brought out the um, new CEO for Sony Computer Entertainment, I think America. He talked for a while about this and that, and then, of course, they did their little Sony Computer um, and all about their TV show and stuff, stuff like that. Um, overall, very, I mean, it was a Sony press conference. It, it was pretty good. Uh, this is coming from a big, big Microsoft fanboy. Um, Little Big Planet 3 got announced. Biggest thing, their little, oh, we have one more game for you, was Uncharted 4. Very small little portion, but it proved a point, and it did exactly what they wanted to do. So, um, what else? What else? Uh, Destiny, of course. They led off with Destiny. Um, you know, exclusive content, this and that, are coming to PS4 or whatever. I'm getting it on Xbox One. Uh, I think it'll be pretty nice anyway. Um, oh, another big thing that really, really shocked me. They were able to reveal from Rockstar. Grand Theft Auto V is coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC this fall. And that is just amazing. I trade in my Grand Theft Auto V for... 360, and I'm getting the Xbox One version. Hands down, I mean, that, no doubt about it. <clears throat> um, overall, what, I mean, they did their indie thing, they did that, they showed off the order, they showed off, um, Destiny, Little Big Planet 3, Drive Club, they did a little bit of Drive Club, not very much. Um, I think that's actually about it. That was a, a decent recap. Uh, of course, if you guys want to see it for yourselves, I believe IGN has them all posted. All the press conferences. Um, so, stay tuned. I got one more E3 shindig coming at you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye.